must be told. Malefia's wife says, as DSS grill husband. Hello everyone and welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. If you have not, please kindly do so. Don't forget to press the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video. Thank you very much for always stopping by. God bless you once again. Now to the news in detail. Obadiah, Malefia's wife, has visited the Department of State Services, DSS, office in Just Plateau State. After the agency invited her husband for claiming that a northern governor is one of the leaders of the Boko Haram sect. Malefias, who was the 2019 presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress, ADC, had made the claim during an interview with a radio station in Lagos. As of the time of filing this report, Obadiah was still being grilled at the Jaws office of the DHS. His wife, who was on the premises of the state security uh, service in Jaws on Tuesday, said, the truth must be told. She added, I don't know how to express my sincere appreciation for me to see wonderful people who have left all your duties, highly placed people in our society, to come and stand in solidarity with my husband. You that are here are the ones that have been interacting closely with Dr. Obadea. You know his nature. He is not a violent man. The holy hope and prayer of Obadiah is for him to see Nigeria reach the highest level among the developed nations. And what is going on in our country today? If this is the trend we are taking, I don't see that happening because the truth must be told. What we have on ground today will not take us anywhere. You can only give what you have. Obadiah had served as chief economics in the strategic planning and budgeting department of the African Development Bank Group. The 63 years old had also served as a deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBM, from 2005 to 2007. So, hello, viewers. What's your take on this? <laughs> For me, I appreciate the courage of Mr. Obadiah. Uh, yeah. People at the helm of affairs may pretend not to know, but who is fooling who? The man said he was told by a Boko Haram that a governor is a, a leader of Boko Haram. Let him tell the DSS whom the governor is, if truly he is saying the truth. That is just it. And let this thing be settled for once. I believe no one is happening and uh, no one is happy about what is happening in this country today. So many persons have made statements about they want to say what is happening. We all know now. If I say what is happening in this country, nobody will sleep and all that. It's not left for the government to actually find out what is happening. They should find out from these people. Now this one has made this statement. It's not just this. They should Find out who is that governor that is sponsoring this set of people. That is just it. And the problem will be settled. Everybody can now sleep and close two eyes. And Nigeria will now become a good place to be. Nigeria will now become that country we wish Nigeria to be. That is how I see it. Not be just giddy, 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 giddy. You can't do this, this, that. Let these people, so many persons have made statements. Not be today, we don't they hear. They should get these people, find out what is actually happen, happening. This is what the government is supposed to do. This is what they're supposed to stand for. We want to end this thing. If actually the government of Nigeria wants to end all this, this is what they're supposed to do. They should find out who that governor is. Because basically, not only if you come and can't talk with him, no, no. <laughs> so if actually <laughs> hey, he's saying the fact, let him call the name, name them, name the person, and everybody will, will be okay. That is how I say it. All right. Okay, let's hear from Nigerians who have reacted. The first person I have here said,
I pity Mr. Obadiah. He is a pity that this man is a Christian. He did not know that those people in the other religion from that up not know all this better than you. But keep quiet. The Boko Haram matter is probably another way to prominent leadership to that region. You are a man of truth. Funny country, we should continue pretending. The question is, if actually these people, the other religion we are talking about, that this man is a Christian and all that, this Boko Haram stuff, are they actually killing only Christians? When oh yeah, rub one finger, she they rub the five fingers. So if actually they know what is happening and they are keeping quiet, it's still happening. It's still affecting them. Look at what is happening in Satan Cardinal today. Is it a good thing to hear? It's not a good thing. This does not portray good good of us outside there. So if actually, like what this our brother is saying here, that's uh he uh, pity Mr. Obadiah for saying this, that he's a Christian and all that, that the, the other religion, they know what is happening. It's not this, this, this thing that is happening is not actually affecting only Christians. It's also affecting uh, Muslim faithfuls. That is it. All right. Someone said there, yeah, this man said he was told by Boko Haram that a governor is a leader of uh, Boko Haram. So, what is government doing about it? It's not by making noise. They should silently ask him who the name of this governor is and everything will be okay. All right. Okay, someone said that the, the truth must be told. What a brave heart. I pray that God will be with you and your family because you and your family knows the consequences of the truth in Nigeria. God will use one person to set a whole nation free. Let this, let his will be done in this matter. Prayers will be going on, in, going on in you and your family. May God cover your husband and your family and always be with you. In Jesus' name, he said. Okay, someone said that before he voices out, Everybody knows Islamic agenda in not, but they will eat their flesh and drink their blood. Okay, someone said, uh, let the authority tell us what the uh, repentance Boko Haram said that makes him uh, retaliate them into the community. All right, someone said, uh, well, we are waiting for the outcome of the DSC's grilling. May God have mercy on Nigeria and Nigerians. So hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. What's your take on this? Thank you.